Folks, y'all see that crawdad laying on this rock right here? I'm gonna catch him. Watch you see it? See him laying there? And oh, I got him. See right here? <laughs> right there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Perfect size. What we gonna be using the fish with? Yep. I got this little bitty net right here. What I'm doing is I'm just lifting up a rock. And if I see him there, I put this net behind him. He'll be, he's gonna be pointing, his nose gonna be pointing one way and his butt pointing another way. And usually a crawdad, when they spook, they go backwards. Like the, oh, I see a great old big one right there. Oh Lord, wait just a minute. Golly, this, this here's prime, prime bait right here. So he's pointing that way. So I'm gonna put this right here behind him. I gotta get this and this is a good one here. I just got the net right down behind him right there. Now he's gonna go backwards. Oh, he didn't. I missed him. He went over that way. Goodness. They were sticking away. Dang, I should never eat that out, Mark. I can't bend over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slip along here and I'm going to look down in there. See that water's nice and clear. There's one right there. <laughs> Folks. Let's see if we can get him. And we got him. Look here. Today. That's what we have to right here. I'm gonna we'll try to wade up stream the best I can because you, see once you <laughs> stir the bottom up there, see behind you it gets all muddy and you can't see no crawdads. So I'm looking for them, visually looking for these crawfish. See that clear water, I can see them down in there pretty good. If they poke their whiskers up under a rock, I pretty much see them. See them. I'm gonna say there's gonna be one under this rock right here. That big flat rock. I'm gonna say there is. But I'm gonna start out right here with this one. Oh, I see one's head sticking out of the thing. I think that's what that is. Oh, <laughs> I think it's one's head sticking out right here. Yeah. Let's see. Oh gosh, there's a big one. Two big ones. I might get a double header this time. I did. That's a good in there, man. About two to three inches long. Yep. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this, but hey, it's fun way, don't it? Just gonna eat a hamburger for you. Mm -mm. Especially when I'm walking. Man, I can't really bend over. Let's see if we can uh, eyeball another in here. There he is right there. I'll put that net behind him. Watch this right here. Just ease it behind him. And I'm gonna put my hand in front of it. And there he goes. See, I got him right there. See right there? Yep, look at here. That's, now that right there is a perfect size. Catch what we want to catch. Yep, it is. I'm gonna put him in the bucket now. We done got like three or four in there, boy. Ain't been here in no time. So Let's just look around. Hey, it's fun doing this right here now. I mean, it's bringing the kid back out in me. Hey, there's a little bass laying right there. Huh, <laughs> sure is. It's about that long. Anything I can do that'll bring the kid back out in me, I'm all for it. Because I ain't getting no younger. I want these little, little ones about that long. Maybe a little bigger. Now there's different ways you can catch crawfish. You can put a crawfish trap out with dog food in it or something like that, or you can sain it, you know, but you gotta have two people pretty much to do that. There's another right there. I see his head poking out. Oh, he saw me pointing at him. Lord, I shouldn't eat that hamburger. Don't eat a hamburger before you do this. I'm telling you, don't. Uh, there he is, that's a big one too. And I got him. That's the one I was wanting right there. Now you talking about some fish catching bait right there. So he got some big old pinkers on him. See him pulling that right there? Mm-hmm. Well, folks, just got done catching them crawdads. I got them right here in that bucket, right here. And I'm gonna make a little hike through the woods here to this river down here, a little small river, with these crawfish, live crawfish. And we're gonna see what we can catch. Now this place we're going is a community hole. A lot of folks fishing. So I just don't know if they fish it with live crawfish or not. Actually, crawfish are kind of hard to hard to catch. I mean, really, uh, and they're hard to find sometimes. 
But we got a few in here. We ain't got no bunch, but that's a lot of fun just catching the crawfish. So we're going to take these crawdads right here, and we're going to go down here and see what we can catch with them. Appreciate y'all tuning in, folks. Show do. Yes, let's go catch a fish. <laughs> I just got that crawdad hook just like that right there. If y'all can see him. See right there? Look at him, got his painter stuck up. I've never even caught a fish here, I don't think. I've tried it a time or two, but not with crawdads. So let's throw it out there and see what happens. And that little creek that I caught these crawdads out of, there, it's, it actually runs into this river right here. I'm check my drag, make sure. Brand new reel, reel I got here. First time I fished with it. Uh oh, everyone got it. There he is. Oh, we got. Oh, he is. Oh Lord, oh, we got. I mean, he tapped on it big time. What is it? What is it? Oh, oh Lord, look here. Look here. I'll come here for you. <laughs> I gotta get out there and get him now. Oh Lord, look at that boy, nice channel cat. He sure is. Nice when he tapped on it big time. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He going on a string. Sure is. Now my dad, he been wanting some of cat fish. So I got him one here anyway. Look at them little specks on him. And when I was a kid, we called them specks. Speckled. Catfish, them little specks all over him right there. Let's just put him right out in there. Now I'm just hooking these crawdads right in the tail right there, just like that right there. You gotta go to the left or the right. You can't go right down the middle. So that's gonna catch a fish right there. Let's get down here and catch a nut. I'm surprised though that I caught that cat. Not really, but you know, you normally don't fish for cat with crawdads. That's okay, I'm good with it. See if we can catch a nut. He's pulling that line, just letting it go down. And boy, when he tapped on that, he tapped on it. He sure did. Uh-oh, thought I felt a little something. There he is, another one. What we got here? Oh Lord, another. Oh, this is a good one here. Another channel cat. I'm gonna get down here. Where he's at? Another nice one. Come here, channel cat. Oh, crawl to ask him, I'll play that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a long skinny one there. He's making good eating now. Look here, look at her. Another one here. Yep, there must be several of them right there. Well, we're just gonna sit here and catch them till we get us a mess. Get that little hook out. Some of them little hooks, I don't like to let loose. Right, I'll give this one right here somebody to talk to. You hear them talking? See that pole right there? See how limber it is on the end? It's really limber out on the end. But up in here, it's got some backbone. That way when you set the hook, it don't, it don't bend all the way up to you. To the handle right there. Boy, I tell you what, these things, man, I mean, when they hit it, man, they hit it, they ain't playing around. I really didn't expect to catch some catfish right here. I really didn't. Because I've seen some big old bass swimming around right here. It's a little old Eddie right here cutting back. But when you fish in these rivers like this, I don't care if it's a big river or a small river, always fish the back, little eddies. You can see how this river comes down. It's got a little cut back in here like this. And usually somewhere right in here, in this edge, they're gonna be some kind of fish. Here we go. There he is. Oh, golly, he got off. Did y'all see that? Oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. That's a perfect size right here. I don't like a big crawfish. I like them about that size or maybe a little bigger, but not much smaller than that. Okay. That was definitely a good bite I just had. Good Lord, Mark. <laughs> Most time them crawfish, when you throw them out there, they're gonna go down toward the bottom anyway, so you don't really need a weight fishing crawfish. You know. I ain't been here, I ain't been here five minutes. And then caught them too. So here goes another. Oh we got it. That was another one. He just got the bait. Oh god, I ain't got enough of them. I can't afford to lose too many. Okay, now I'm gonna show y'all my rod. 
Now this rod right here is really good fishing the way we're fishing right here. This make a good crappie rod, creek fishing rod. It's real lightweight. And uh, I got it at Cabela's. But, you know, it's a Bass Pro Shop brand. I mean, you can get them there. It's a Johnny Morrison. It's a, it's a carbon light, 2.0. It's got carbon coil technology. Now, what that means, I really don't know. And it is a six foot long right there. And it's a light action fast. This reel right here is a Abba Garcia. And I got it at Cabela's. Of course, you can get them at Bass Pro Shop too. And it's a Revo. Boy, you're talking about a smooth reel. This right here, this is a smooth reel. And this drag on it, look here. Hear it? Smooth as silk. Oh, holy Lord. We're going into fall right here. And the fishing's been real slow. I mean, especially the kind of fishing I like to do, live bait. But we got October coming on and uh, smallmouth fishing, so we can get real good on live bait. Drifting menace, shad, at Pickwick, Wilson Lake, and Wheeler Lake. And I'll be doing quite a bit of that coming up. There's some nice smallmouth in this river right here. Uh-oh. And some big spotty bass. And usually that's what you catch on these crawdads, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna gripe. There he is. There he is. Oh, we go. <laughs> now, what that little bluegill right there think he gonna do with that big old crawdad? <laughs> he thought he was gonna eat it. Yeah. I'll throw him, throw him back down there. So anyway, let's uh, let's put another crawdad on. We'll keep using them until we run out. Hey, I just like to catch fish, y'all. I really do. Just like to catch fish. You want a lively crawdad, just like any kind of live bait. See, you want them doing that right there. I'm just watching my line. I like to watch my line. That's why I use this high-vis line right here. That's 20 pound uh, Power Pro braid on here. And this leader that I got tied on is a, uh, it's a six pound test, Berkeley Trilene Mono. And then that little hook right there is a number two hook, not a very big hook. Okay, let's see here now. Right there. Look, there's one little place there under them limbs hanging over right there where that sycamore is. But they're kind of like, uh, I'm getting the bites. You kind of got to keep that crawfish from getting down under something down there. So you can't let it lay there too long. On the bottom, he'll crawl up under a rock and he'll get you hung up every time. So I'll just uh, throw it out there, leave my bell open, my finger on the line like that. You can see my line just laying on top of the water. And I'm just watching it. There he is. There he is, I got him. It's another, oh, it, this is a big fish. Oh yes, I see my line jump, y'all. What is this? Now this don't, this don't act like no catfish. This thing here is put in drag. Well, I might be a catfish. Hope. Oh yeah, oh, this is a big catfish. This is a big channel cat. I'm gonna have to get out here and get him. I didn't ram a net with me. Lord have mercy. Yeah, he's a good one here. They don't get off. Oh my gosh, that, that's a lot of meat on this. I just got six pound test line on here. Look at this one, y'all. Look at here. Yep, got it. Boy, that's a good one there. Look at that big old joker. Yeah, that's the biggest one so far. Look at that. Look at that. These crawfish. What you want to do when you when you hook them they got like a big main vein running right down the middle of their tail right there right down the middle and if you get in the middle you will kill your crawdad instantly it's kind of like don't want to do that so what you got to do is you got to come over to the side just a little bit and you just hook them just like that right there poor crawdad just like that and that way he'll stay lively so you don't want a fish with a dead crawfish because if you do that you might as well be fishing with artificial i'm gonna tell you fishing the community oh like i'm fishing right here try something a little different i mean seriously most people come down here they're gonna throw worms or crickets or something like that they ain't throwing crawdads so you fish ain't used to seeing these crawdads you can catch them i'm real surprised we ain't done caught a bass so so far we caught what three catfish and the bluegill 
this river right here, small river, it's clean. It's spring fed from way up, way up from here. So there he is. There's another one. Oh gosh, this is another good one. Oh, he tapped on it. Come on, I just thought it out there. Oh, it almost fell in. Oh, that's another nice one. That's a good eater right there. Yeah, look at here. That's a nice little young one. Really nice little young one right there. Don't you look down in there. Look at that, see that crawfish? I might, I might get two catches out of that crawfish. Mm. Don't you look here. I don't know if y'all see, open your mouth. You don't see it. You don't see that crawfish down in there. I'm gonna pull him out. Well, that's it on the crawdads. I didn't have many to start with, but I, what I had, we done good with. I ain't been here 45 minutes. We done caught four nice catfish and a couple of bluegill, and I got my dad uh, some good fish to eat. So I'm gonna go home and clean them up, folks. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Hey, go catch you some crawdads. Go fishing with them. You never know what you're gonna catch.